I used statistics to uh, validate different theories that had been created in math and look at the Electoral College and how well it represents the American people. My EE topic was about Walt Disney World and Disneyland and about Walt Disney and how he um, created those parks and how he was the first person to really have a type of theme park which had never been done before. And the rejection of the beats of the white middle class in America. Chemical brook trout restorations in the Great Smoky Mountains. Running shoes and how the structure of the running shoes helped absorb impact and forces and impulse. The mercury levels in fish in our local environment and like how the mercury was affecting the fish. My EE topic was the impacts that Che Guevara has had on Spanish culture today, particularly in Cuba and how his legacy has really impacted Spanish culture today. I compared a book, The 101, or 1001 Nights, um, to a composition by Rimsky korsakoff called Scheherazade. How did Carl Jung's idea of the unconscious mind influence Jackson Pollock's early work? Samuel Beckett and um, how World War II influenced his writing and then in turn how his writing influenced France and like the actors at the time. Uh, a paper on motifs and characteristics in boxing films. The way it differed from other research papers is just that I had more time to, more time for each step of the paper. And so I spent a lot of time at the beginning planning out what I was going to do. It was really fun, honestly, for me. I really enjoyed being able to do this research. I was able to go out with some friends at some points in time and work with them. So it was definitely something that I enjoyed doing. Stressful. I think that it wasn't so much stressful, um, but spending a whole entire year on one main topic, you really get to know it, and so you feel almost happy um, whenever anyone brings up something. So if, if I hear Rimsky Korsakoff, I'm like, oh, Scheherazade, I'm like, I can tell you all about that. I feel like I knew everything about both of them, like Carl Jung and Jackson Pollock, and Anytime anyone mentioned anything like that, I'd be like, oh, I know about that. I did get to use a lot of different sources because of the time length, and that allowed me to have a wide variety of places to pull from when I was making my conclusions. Um, an entire year, it was really long, and it was, but it was actually kind of fun, especially with the topic that I had. I was able to research something that I loved like ever since I was really, really little. It was a lot, but I really liked my topic so it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Giving us that amount of time enabled us to really go through and fine tune everything about our paper. But it, it becomes your child, your little baby that you love and cherish. <laughs> At the UTC library, we actually got to use a lot of online databases and those were where I pulled the mathematical research papers, which I used the most in my essay. Uh, for me, I'd actually say that the most useful resource that I found was the UTC library because it had a lot of different things that I was able to use for my research. It had biographies on Walt Disney and then also had, uh, there was an architecture book on Walt Disney architecture and I could look at the uh, Disney World and Disneyland architecture. Working with Mr. Goza, he was my EE supervisor and he knew a lot about the book. It's actually his favorite book. So um, he could tell me a lot about it and he gave me a little bit of insight into the book that I wouldn't have just like looking things up on the internet. So actually uh, Mr. Dodson helped me get in contact with the fisheries biologist in the Great Smoky Mountains. So I went uh, over the last summer for three days and worked with them conducting electrofishing survey surveys on uh, recently uh, restored brook trout streams. An interview that I had with a um, very profound clarinetist um, from the United States Marine Corps Band and that was really neat because he is in this like number one band in the world and I actually got to speak to him about Scheherazade in my piece and music in general and that was like his take on music which is really really different and something that I really like to consider um, even playing music now so it was just a whole new perspective on my paper and it was really cool. The most interesting aspect of my paper was probably incorporating um, Guevara's past with the present because a lot of people really see him as kind of a bad influence on Spanish culture and history today, but I was able to dig in and find some facts that were actually kind of positive. 
I really enjoyed more of the political side rather than the mathematics side. So looking at, I actually got to use elections and put in the numbers and see what would have been different with different systems rather than the electoral college. So that was my favorite part. It was really cool to look at like how people had to change their methods to to perform these plays and um, just how like how demanding it was, but also like you could tell watching them that people just like had fun doing these because they were so abstract and because there was no like set rules to this form of acting. Uh, really just getting to go up to the Smokies and work with the fisheries department. Uh, Matt Culp, the head fisheries biologist, he also uh, he also shared a lot of data with me that they'd collected over the years so it was really neat that I got to look through all of that. For me personally, I really enjoyed looking at the structure of running shoes because when you look at running shoes, the first thing you see is the pretty colors um, and the brand name. But when you really jump into that and get to figure out what goes on inside the shoe, it's, I just find it really interesting. And I just had too much information that I had no idea what to do with. I couldn't figure out where to fit it into the paper, if it should go into a whole new paragraph, but then it didn't really make sense. So um, that was the most challenging part for me, was just narrowing down all the information that I found and narrowing down my research question and just making one precise paper that answers one question instead of like topping, talking about a general topic. It did take a long time to write and it took a lot of effort and a lot of going to my teacher, to my supervisor and talking to her about it. The most challenging part of writing these in essay is the writing the first draft because I kind of just had to sit down and work for a couple hours several days straight. The most rewarding part was seeing the finished product and seeing that I had reached some conclusions that were new and interesting um, and hopefully can benefit the readers of the paper. When I finally wrote the conclusion it was like the final puzzle piece and it was just really nice to have it all like completed and then be able to turn it in is nice. It's beautiful. The moment you turn it in. <laughs> Uh, other than not procrastinating, something I would tell the other IB students is find something you are interested in because if you do not find a topic that you are interested in, you are not going to be able to do this extended essay. You have to love what you're writing about. Choose something that you really like to write about because no one can churn out 3,000 or 4,000 words on a topic that they just chose the last minute. So really think about it and really find something that you love. Algo que yo diría a los estudiantes que quieren hacer este papel en español es que debes tener muchos uh, diferentes personas uh, para, y artículos para escribir sobre porque necesitas tener más que uno punto de vista y es muy importante para poder entender lo que estás a escribir y para que otras personas lo entiendan también. <laughs>